Hi, I'm Linda Fields, and I taught here for about 22 years. Um, I started in about 1990 and just retired in 2013. All right. Uh, how did you become a teacher at Union High School? Um, well, I came from the middle school. I was teaching there first, and I decided to become a teacher because I was always one of these moms helping out at school, and so I thought I could do this, and I loved history. So I became a teacher uh, when my daughter was in the eighth grade and started teaching eighth grade as well. So, and then um, I had some administrator friends who were here at Noonan High School. Bob Haberlin said, come on over here. I was at East Coweta Middle School. And so here I am. All right. Uh, what is the most challenging aspect of your job? I think the most challenging thing is to try to teach in the same room students of different levels. So in the same room, you'll have students that are advanced, some that are average, some that are um, below average, and some students work at a really fast pace, and some kids work at a really slow pace. And I think it's really hard to keep everybody happy, everybody learning, everybody doing everything. It's also hard um, to teach students that don't have any motivation, teach students who um, don't really want to be there, or they have so many distractions from the culture, or at home, or poverty, or just other problems in their lives. So they're not really thinking about what you're doing in class, so that's really hard. But I do think that the culture has been a real drag on what we're supposed to do in education, and that's been really hard. What did you enjoy the most about your job? Well, that's the easiest question I'm sure you'll ask me. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I enjoyed the most was um, definitely interacting with kids. You know, just the talking to kids, just being out in the hall with the kids. Um, just, you know, I coached cheerleaders for a while, coached the academic bowl for a while. That was so much fun. Just that, even in the classroom, just that banter that you have back and forth with kids. And I found especially that AP kids had a great sense of humor. And so just being with the kids was my favorite part. I miss that. Mm -hmm. Great. So what do you think is the relationship between Union High School and the community? And how is that? relationship important? I think we have a really strong one compared to other schools and other school systems. Um, I found as a teacher that businessmen, when I taught economics, would come to the school at any time. I found that um, elected and unelected officials would come in and they would help teachers and help me teach civics lessons. Um, and I just found that you know policemen would come. Anybody that I asked, parents who had specialty knowledge would come in. And so I thought that that was a great support system to the school. I can't tell you how many parents have said to me and then followed up, if you need anything in the classroom, just ask. And they would just bring me things to use that they thought I needed. And so I think it's really very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, in your opinion, what has always made NHS a special place to attend school? I think one of the um, best parts about going to Newton High School is that it's a multi-generation generation type um, community. In other words, you know, kids, some of them, their young grandparents went here and their parents went here and then now they go here. And so it just seems like a really neat place that, um, you know, people have come from more than one generation and they'll say, oh, my mom had Miss Landreth or my great aunt had Miss Landreth and now I have Miss Landreth. And um, I love to meet former students out in the community who say, um, oh, you know, my kids had you, or parents who'll say, I have four kids and three of them have had you, but one hasn't had you, or Ms. Lambert, or Mr. Coleman, or whoever. And so that's really um, kind of neat. And do you call, recall any historical events that occurred while you're at school? Yeah, um, lots of them. <laughs> of course, probably everybody says 9-11. Uh, Mr. Sandlin was teaching right around the corner from me, and he very discreetly slipped into my room and he said, we have a national emergency, and so, you know, of course, that was one of them. But then, um, every election that's taken place, since I'm a history buff, um, every election has just been a big event for me. I really enjoyed following elections. Um, then in, like, 1993, we had a major event in Waco, Texas. Um, a cult leader named David Koresh and the Branch Davidians all of a sudden just went up, the Attorney General went in and the whole place just exploded, went up in flames, like 75 people were killed. That was a really big event too. And then when we had the um, Olympics, of course it wasn't, it was in the summertime, but the Olympic Park bombing was a big ordeal. And then everybody knows about the Space Challenger that exploded back during Reagan's administration, 
but we had the Columbia, which also exploded, killing everybody on board upon re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. And so seven, all seven people were killed aboard that as well. And so they ended the space shuttle program for a long time um, just because they didn't think it was safe. So that was pretty significant. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. Okay, well, Thank that was you. painless. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you.